Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and a special episode of Did You Know as we take a look at 10 of the best Did You Knows from the series with 10 things you might not know in WWE 2K18. Did you know that you can perform apron moves inside the Elimination Chamber? When it comes to the Elimination Chamber, there's generally no way to perform apron grapples as Exit in the ring sees the player exit on the steel rather than stand on the apron, however Dustin Dixon reveals a cool little trick that allows players the ability to stand on the apron where they can then pull off apron grapples such as a suplex on the steel, the hot shot or even diving attacks to the outside. To do this, you'll want to choose a superstar who has a springboard move set as a signature or finishing move, then when your opponent is on the mat, press the finisher button towards the ropes to begin your springboard wake up taunt. Once the taunt begins, press L1 on PlayStation or LB on Xbox, which will then cancel the wake up taunt, leaving your superstar standing on the apron, where they can then perform any of their assigned apron moves. Did you know that there is a hidden Money in the Bank cashing cutscene that takes place during the match? This one comes from Mr. Big Show Off and was actually a new cutscene that was found last year as 2K added this new alternate Money in the Bank cash-in cutscene that sees the superstar cash-in during a match to make it a triple threat, just like Seth Rollins did at WrestleMania. This file was thought to be unused and said to be featured in 2K18 as a new option to cash in during matches, however despite the file being included, there's still no way to cash in during the match, meaning this cutscene can only be seen using PC mods. Did you know it's possible to set default attires in both Universe Mode and in Exhibition Play? This one comes from Ross Baugod who reveals the ability to set a default attire for a superstar which when assigned will automatically have that attire chosen as their default when selected from the superstar selection screen. Now whilst this is one that fans of Universe Mode may know, what you might not know is that this is also possible to do in Exhibition Play by choosing to edit superstars via the My WWE option on the main menu. To do this, you'll want to select My WWE, then Edit Superstars, and find the star who you wish to set a default attire for, then scroll down the Attires option in which you'll see all available options and can select the one that you want to use as a default. Once you've decided on the one that you want to use, save the changes and now when you select that superstar from the selection screen, you'll see that the game automatically selects the attire you assigned, which is really handy for keeping your game up to date and assigning teams like The Shield their new attires instead of having to manually select them every single time. Did you know it's possible to perform moves on the base of the steel steps in Hell in a Cell matches? This one comes from Daniel Jalil who reveals a new steel steps glitch for Hell in a Cell matches that allows you to perform any move on the base section of the steel steps. Unlike the other steel steps glitches, this one is actually really simple as all you need to do is use the superstar who has the escape artist ability assigned and then gain a stored finisher and perform the escape OMG at the top right hand corner of the cell to break out, which is something in itself people might not be aware of as most people only tend to break the cell in the bottom right hand corner. Once you've performed the Escape Artist OMG, you should find that the steel steps have become dislodged, which if you then walk over to the base, you can see that you actually climb up onto them where you can then perform any move you like on top, making for yet another extreme way to perform moves. Did you know it's possible to delay trons and music during entrances? Following Fastlane, I posted a video that featured various updated attires for SmackDown superstars, one of which was the show-off Dolph Ziggler whose entrance was also updated and featured him coming out without any music or titantrons before it then kicked in during the stage animation. Due to this, a lot of people have asked how I was able to recreate Dolph's entrance in the game and delay the trons, therefore I thought this would be something cool to share. So to delay the trons and the music in WWE 2K18, what you'll want to do is head into create an entrance and then select the superstar whose entrance you want to create and choose the advanced entrance option. Starting off with music, as you can see here in the entrance music column, Dolph's music is set to play during his intro, however we're going to select this and choose to delete it as we don't want music playing at the beginning of his entrance. Instead, what we're going to do is select the stage column and then add Dolph's music into this section and set it to play halfway through the stage animation. Now that his music is set, the next thing that we want to do is do the same thing for his trons, therefore you want to select the show slash hide movie row and delete this entry from the intro column. Once you've done this, select the stage column and then press select set point for his trons to come on that matches the same point you set for his music. Doing this should see Dolph's music and Trons come on at the same point, however the next thing that we want to do is also set the lighting. For this, you'll want to change Dolph's intro lighting to lighting 20 which should give you a darkened arena, then once you save the changes, select his stage lighting and change this too to lighting 20. 
For the next step, you'll want to stay on this screen and then press down to select the second lighting row, then press select and choose Dolph Ziggler from the list of lighting. Once you do this, press select to set the lighting at the same point in which his trons turn on, which should then see the lighting change and come on in time with his trons and music. From here, all you need to do now is add the Dolph Ziggler lighting to the ramp, ring in and ring sections, then you're good to go. Additionally, should you wish to use the same entrance motions that I have here, then I use the natural for the stage, ramp and ring in sections and then respect the nation 1 for the ring motion which was previously used in the series for Farouk. All in all, should you follow these steps, then this is how Dolph Ziggler's updated entrance should look. Did you know you can use R1 or RB as a move modifier to perform certain actions from behind? This one comes from Owen Jones who reveals that 2K have added in a new option that allows players to perform alternate reverse actions such as the reverse wake up taunt and climb the turnbuckle with your back to the ring. Now this comes in really handy as generally if you use a wake up taunt then your opponent will get up facing your superstar, meaning if you want to perform a signature or a regular move from behind then you'll first have to spin your opponent round. To make things simpler though, this year players can press R1 or RB whilst performing the wake up taunt which will then cause your opponent to get back to their feet with their back facing you in the perfect position for any moves from behind. Not only does this work with a standard in ring wake up taunt, but you can also hold R1 or RB whilst performing wake up taunts from the apron, the turnbuckle or even in the corner position, all of which will cause your opponent to get back up to their feet with their back facing you. Additionally, the modifier also works when climbing the turnbuckle, therefore rather than climbing it the normal way and then awkwardly spinning around to perform moves like the moonsault, this year you can use the modifier to climb the turnbuckle with your back facing the ring in the perfect position to pull off the move. Did you know it's possible to edit logos and remove backgrounds within the game itself? This one comes from Cloud Picture, who reveals a really useful trick for creators who don't have access to the likes of Photoshop or the ability to make the background on the images transparent, as this can actually be done inside the game itself. To do this, you'll want to find an image that you want to use and then upload it to the Community Creations website, then download it in the game and head into the creation suite. Next, navigate to the item of clothing or the body part that you want to put your logo onto and select your custom logo. As you can see here, even though our logo has a black background, it doesn't quite match the black colour of the top, therefore rather than apply it, click the edit button which will open up the logo editor. Now what you want to do here is move the left thumbstick to place the cursor over the background colour that you want to get rid of, then scroll down to the delete option and press select. Doing this will see the background colour that you've chosen be deleted, giving you a nice transparent background. At this point, if you're happy with the image then you can choose accept or if there's extra colours that you want to get rid of then you can repeat the process and select any other colours to delete. Once you've finished and you've pressed accept, you'll find that the game has created a brand new image, this time with a transparent background that you can then apply to your creation, fixing the issue of the background colour not quite matching and allowing you to blend logos properly with any colour background. Did you know it's possible to eliminate your opponent when reversing the RKO Royal Rumble finisher? When it comes to finishing moves, the RKO is always up there when talking about the best finishers that can be performed out of nowhere, however when it comes to the Royal Rumble match and the RKO Rumble finisher, it may actually be the person performing the move who ends up being eliminated out of nowhere. This is because when successfully reversing the move using the major reversal, this sees the receiving superstar catch the performer and then throw them over the top rope and onto the floor, thus eliminating them from the match. As far as the other rumble finisher reversals go, none of the other reversed finishers result in elimination, making the RKO the only finisher that can be reversed into one and therefore the riskiest rumble finisher that you can use. Did you know it's possible to perform table finishers through the ladder bridge at ringside? Now this one is a really cool trick that was found last year and luckily still works in 2k18, therefore I thought I'd bring this to the attention of people that might have missed it last year as well as those who are new to the series. In order to perform table finishes from the ring to the outside through the ladder bridge, then you'll first want to set up the ladder bridge either at the top or right hand side of the ring by pressing L1 and R1 on PlayStation or LB and RB on Xbox. Additionally, if you're playing in a classic arena or any arena which doesn't feature an LCD board on the apron, then you can also set up the ladder bridge at the side closest to the camera. Once you've set up the ladder bridge, the next step is to get a table and set this up on the outside of the ring 
Then grab the steel steps and drop them on the floor next to the table and then run into the steps which should cause the table to move allowing you to reposition it next to the ladder bridge. Once the table is close enough to the ladder, this causes the game to enable your table finisher from the rope position which if used in the correct position allows you to perform your table finisher from the ring to the outside and onto the ladder bridge making for some pretty extreme moments. Did you know it's possible to climb up onto wooden tables and even make them unbreakable? This one comes from Hellraiser988 who reveals that it's actually possible to glitch a table in the same way as the steel steps allowing you to climb up onto it and even perform moves without it breaking. To do this you'll want to follow similar steps to those used for the new steel steps glitch however I will say that this glitch is a lot harder to perform as it only works with the table in a very specific position. So with that being said, to do this what you want to do is choose to play an extreme rules match and choose an arena that has two announced tables at ringside such as Raw's War or Great Balls of Fire and then remove the pattern from the lower table and put your opponent through it. Once you've done this, remove the pattern from the other announced table and then grab yourself a wooden table from under the ring. Now this is the bit where things tend to get tricky as what you want to do is place the table on the floor next to the remaining announce table and then place the steel steps on the floor and run into them so that you push the wooden table under the announce table however you'll want to make sure that the corner of the wooden table is glitched through the corner of the announce table otherwise this glitch won't work. Once you manage to get the table in the right position, the next step is to simply put your opponent through it which upon doing so will see the table glitch and then allow you to walk on top of it and perform moves onto it without it actually breaking. What a spine buster by the game! And he delivers a brutal DDT! Oh that's it! That's gotta be it! So there you go, that was 10 of the best did you knows in WWE 2K18. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I would love it if you could drop a like to show your support as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or Easter eggs that you think I should cover in an upcoming episode. As always make sure to subscribe to the channel for more did you know episodes and click the little bell icon to turn on notifications so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left to be said is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.